Hey guys, so today we did <clears throat> rebuilding of the deadlift. Um, so basically what we wanted to do was do exercises to help rebuild it. We're not doing max effort today, so we didn't go for uh, 445. Probably wait a week, um, let the lower back heal. It's been uh, taking a lot of beatings with the squatting and everything. So today we did beltless front squats, also without shoes. Um, the reason we don't wear shoes is to work on our ankle flexibility. When you wear a heeled shoe, um, it doesn't work your ankle flexibility as much. It'll let you get to death easier. So I wanted to work on some flexibility there. Um, front squat without a belt, just so we could work on bracing our core. It's been about four years since I've done front squat. So we just did 185, 205, and 225 today. I um, thought it went pretty well. Um, trying to go extra deep and bracing the core. Then here's 225 here. The good thing about the front squat is it lets you get deeper and really work on your, your flexibility in your hips and bracing your core, keeping upright. Focuses on your abs a lot more too. So that goes hand in hand with the deadlifts. That's why you want to kind of pair front squats with their deadlifts. Um, so then we started our three sets of three on deadlift. Um, 365, nothing too crazy heavy. Just trying to get some good pulls in, stay tight. So we did three by three at 365. And then at the very end, we did one set of five of some RDLs, Romanian deadlifts at 315. Um, I was planning on doing three sets of those, but one set was enough for today. So maybe next time we'll add a set, we'll see. Just trying to do all the exercises to rebuild the deadlift. So today we did front squats conventional deadlift and some RDLs. So that's kind of the, the focus there. And then a couple days we'll squat again, and then after that we'll do a max effort deadlift day. So that's the plan. See y'all.